What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video is a little bit different. We are here with Elden Ring. The King. Honestly, the best game I have played easily in the last decade. Easily better than World of Warcraft. But this is a single player game, so it's not a fair comparison. Um, easily better than Dying Light 2 for sure. I think this is gonna win game of the year. For sure, this is what I hope, it deserves it. I know there's a lot of hate out there about this game, I do not understand it. My experience with this game, with Souls games, I, I've never been in any Souls games before. I have tried two, uh, Demon Souls Remake, which I can have as an option if you guys want me to do that. If you guys love Elden Ring, maybe after I beat Elden Ring, we can do Demon Souls if you want. Um, and what else was there? and Dark Souls 3 on the PS4. I beat like the first boss in Demon Souls, that big, um, like really huge fat ogre in the beginning. I beat that guy. I, I'm not sure if that's considered a boss or not. I felt like a boss. I'm not sure if that was like a tutorial boss or that was an actual boss. But anyways, and I didn't really get into the game because I was playing something else at the time. I'm not sure what it was. But I usually play a lot of different games. You know, even like platformers, um, like, you know, Castlevania Symphony of the Night from back in the day. Like, I played, um, they made like something similar to it. I forgot what it was called on the PS4 I played in. Um, but anyways, getting back on topic. Uh, and in Dark Souls 3, I, I, I was able to beat like, I believe the first two or three bosses. So I had like... 20 hours in the game like I had no idea what I was doing I ran around as like I think a mage class like I was like casting like little bolts like I was like shooting something out of a wand or something and and that's it and, like I had a sword in one hand and I didn't know how to level up I didn't feel like looking up anything and I'm just like I'm gonna run around and see what I can figure out I defeated three bosses I believe I got to which boss I if I remember right there was like a one that looked like a tiger that like sh like a frozen tiger I was like made out of like ice and shit it was like a frost tiger like a sh you know would shoot like you know spikes through the ground and shit that's I think that was that's where I got to and where I stopped if my memory serves me right so I dumped around like 10 to 15 uh, maybe 15 20 hours in that game something like that um, but never I've never completed any of these games until this game came out like I was actually looking forward to this before it came out there was a lot of hype around it I was excited too I'm like this game looks amazing I almost wish there was an MMO but I kind of realized that wouldn't make it shit that's a long story that's a whole different topic so we'll leave it for a different time but for now guys since I've made the last poll and um, you guys voted it seems like so far, I'm still going to give it a few more days, but so far, it seems like this game is in the lead. Um, I'm not sure if anything else is going to be able to compete with it from the, you know, the options I gave you. And so you guys don't misunderstand me. Just because Elden Ring wins does not mean I'm not going to be, you know, uploading content for any other game it just means this will be the majority of the content will be for Elden Ring and Dying Light um, I'm still gonna upload World of Warcraft I still play that I'm taking my time with the game I'm leveling that like really slowly um, I might have some Dota 2 coming for you guys and what else is there and yeah the, the Callisto Protocol Regardless whether it wins or not, I'm gonna have at least one playthrough of that game. I may never touch it again, depending on how good or bad it is. Or I might have it as a game that is, you know, that I will create content for. Maybe I will fall in love and I'll tell you guys, yeah, I'm gonna do it for one, two, three, you know, Dying Light 2, Elden Ring, and The Protocol. And like I told you guys, I can have multiple games, but the focus is what I'm trying to figure out. And I'm giving you games that I all like, so whatever you guys choose, I'm going to get to enjoy it. So don't worry about what you choose. I love all the games that I've um, given you as, as an option or as a choice to pick from. Uh, 
So anyways, when I played this game, guys, it felt so long in the beginning. I'm like, it's never gonna finish. Like every time, like I go into like a cave, it like takes me into a different cave. I'm like, it's like a cave connected to a cave, connected to under under underground cave that takes you onto an elevator that like takes you all the way up into the sky somewhere. And now you're like, I'm, I'm like, what is going on? But I fucking loved it. I'm not gonna lie, it was exhausting, but it was so much fun. It really was. I was doing it twice at the same time, by the way. Like, I was playing on the laptop. I'm on the laptop, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just get on Elden Ring for a little while and do this and do that. And then I get on the PlayStation, play with whoever, and then, like, you know, if I stop playing with a friend or with, uh, with anyone, whoever it is, um, and I'm all alone, then I get back to the game again, to Elden Ring. And... Yeah. I was beating the game two, twice at the same time, trying to finish it at that point, till I actually did. And I still felt like, wow, it wasn't enough. So what do I do? I get back in there and I beat all the starter bosses and within a hundred hours as a naked level one wretch, no buffs. Um, I just used the flask of uh, Crimson Tear, I believe it's called. You know, just to heal the original four that you can get at the very beginning of the game. I don't pick up anything else. I don't upgrade my weapons, no shields. I don't even two-hand the goddamn little uh, tree branch that they give us as a fucking weapon to begin with the club. Uh, they might as well give us a fucking tree branch. Seriously. Uh, and I beat all the bosses. Like, that is how much I love this game. There is no other game out there that made me want to do that again and again and again. Like, I, I don't want to go and play Dying Light 2 again and like run around, let's say, naked with like without any armor and just like using fist weapons or just my fists or something like that and like seeing if I can beat the game like that or beat any enemy like that. Like, it would never cross my mind. Like, I wouldn't do it. Some people might. I would not do it. Here? Yes. It's actually a challenge. More, like the bosses are more challenging than they are annoying. Some things may, may seem unfair, they're faster or that, but like if you pay and you focus and you pay attention, you'll realize there's always an opening, there's always a gap, there's always something you didn't notice. It takes a long time to figure these things out. That's why people usually just give up. Like, oh, this game is so hard, man. I, you know, I'm like, I've been fighting this boss for like a day and shit. I'm like, all right, well, try to move on to another boss or try to, like, you know, farm and level up and then come back to this boss. But they don't want to do that because the way they see it, it's a single-player game. I just want to get through the campaign and finish it as soon as possible. They think this is some dying light, too. You know what I mean? They, they play games like that for so long. They play so many games that are like dying light, too. And then when there's something that is really high quality comes... You know, and they experience something that is like, you know, beyond their their expectations. They're shocked. They're so shocked. They start to hate it. Like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? You know, and I mean, it's like, that's what I feel like people who hate this game, who played it and tried it and still hate it, or give it, like, I've seen people give it a zero out of fucking ten. People have completely lost their minds. The only reason people would give it a zero out of ten is because that's how the game made them feel. The game made them feel like they are a zero, like they are nothing, they couldn't do shit. So, you know, overtaken by hate and rage, they had to give it a zero. Like, how oh, fuck you game, how, how dare you tell me I'm a zero, keep killing me, and just I'm just dying all the time. But that's not the game's fault, that's, that's the player's fault. And it's not because you're bad, it's because you are unwilling to improve yourself. Once you comprehend that part, I promise you, you will start to see progress. But if your mind is completely blocked, and you're just like, nope, I'm not going to do this, this game is unfair, this game is that, then honestly, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, good luck with your life, because life is challenging too. And if a game it's too much for you to handle. I have no idea how you're handling life. Uh, anyways, guys, let's not get, you know, too deep and shit. 
Let's see what we what you guys like. Let me explain to you a little bit about everybody that I got here. This guy beat everything as a level one as a level one rich running around. He's level 25 now because I'm trying something new with him now. I'm trying to like level. I'm not putting any points into uh, health. I'm just putting all the points into like uh, mana and stamina. So you know, I forgot what they're called here, guys. It's been a while since uh, you know I've actually played this and paid attention to like my gear and my stats and all that. Um, and I'm gonna show you, there are two videos I forgot to upload for this guy after reaching level 25. I uploaded everything that I wanted to upload as a level 21, and I made more just in case I want to go and clear some of the bosses again, the beginning bosses, and in case I want to advance to different areas and try to fight stronger bosses as a naked uh, level 1. But this guy, I was thinking I'm just gonna create a build for him. I was thinking some kind of either, you know, the gods. God Slayer stuff, um, incantations and all that, or I was going to do the Madness, uh, I call it the Madness, which is the Frenzied Flame um, spells and uh, incantations. So that's what I was thinking for this guy. Down here, I'm not really sure yet. This guy is probably going to be a physical guy, to be honest. A dexterity build. I've tried strength. This guy's strength slash faith. My other guy was mainly strength. It was like at 90 strength. Uh, level 150 exactly, not 151 though. And here he reached 90. Yeah, he had 90 strength. Like barely any health and stamina or whatever. Just no, a lot of stamina actually. Because I was wearing a shitload of heavy armor to the point like anything that would boost my stamina, I would wear it. Any of the extra trinkets. Forgot what they're called here. I would wear it. Again, guys, forget me. I don't know all the terms for this game again. It's been a very long time, nearly a year, and I play a lot of games. But once I get back into it, I promise you, I will um, use the correct words all the time. Until then, you're going to have to, you know, be patient and forgiving. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to have another poll coming up pretty soon. I'm probably going to give this another day or so. And we're gonna find out what kind of game do you want me to start a new game plus with my original guy or should I start a brand new game or should I continue with this guy? But this guy defeated everything in the beginning. Don't forget that. So you're not gonna experience any of Limgrave or her at the Weeping Peninsula. Everything's dead. I might go like pick up some things that I missed. Because I was just going for the bosses and didn't give a fuck about gear, didn't give a fuck about runes, didn't give a fuck about anything. Because I can just go farm it later easily. As a naked level 1 wretch, you can farm runes very easily in this game. Right off the bat, you just get your mount, you run off to somewhere, and that's it. You get there and you just start farming. Like, you can do it with like less than 30 minutes, seriously. Uh, maybe I'll make a guide for that at one point. Anyways, guys. Oh, yeah. And I never beat the Lord of Blood. I beat the game twice. Until now, I still didn't beat him. I'm there. I'm going to probably um, record it at one point and once I beat him. I'm trying to beat him without a pet <clears throat> or without my summons. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, like, I, I already got him to like halfway multiple times, but it's that second phase that I'm trying to master. But again, I barely play this game. So, once I get back into it, I promise you I will beat this guy without using any summons. Uh, what else is there to say? I think that's pretty much it. That sums things up, I would say. Um. We'll see how the polls go, and once we find out who the clear winner is, and if it is Elden Ring, I will make another poll uh, where you guys get to decide what kind of playthrough do you guys want to see. It's going to be detailed, so we're going to have more than one poll coming up. And um, just keep an eye out for them. Make sure you vote, please. 
they matter if you guys actually like I'm gonna learn you'll see you'll see when the time comes just keep an eye out and make sure you vote like comment and subscribe guys share as well I mean you're already subscribed but if you're not subscribed please do it really helps out the channel we're trying to reach that 100 number target it's not a lot guys you know people are like in the millions hundreds of millions and shit well, not hundreds like a hundred million is the highest I think I heard uh, so hopefully a hundred is not that much we're trying to reach a thousand so we can't be struggling with a hundred I hope or we won't be and 69 subscribers for now is an amazing number but how about we make it 69,000 69 million 69 anything else <laughs> anyways guys thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one don't forget make sure you vote your vote counts especially on this channel um, and thank you all so much again for watching take care y'all peace